Ranger Pace beads. Do you guys even know what these are? Do you even know how to use them? Um, Ranger Pace beads are the companion of a compass. If you have a compass and you don't have Ranger Pace beads, then you have no idea what you're missing out and you're going to get lost. Now, you don't need to purchase these Ranger Pace beads. These are made by a um, U.S. veteran. It's made in USA. They're super cheap, super affordable. They are made by hand by him. They come in multiple colors, everything from multicam to hot pink to imperial red, you name it, you can get the color you want. If you don't choose a color, he sends you black skulls with olive drab in the actual paracord, is what he does. So let me pull this up. This is a super, super close up of what you're actually getting. And like I said, you don't have to buy these. I mean, there are many ways to make Ranger Pace beads. Uh, a person could, a person could actually pick a stick up off the ground, grab your knife and carve a notch in it. Carve a second notch and continue on. You could grab a piece of rope and tie knots in it. Um, from what I understand, Way back in days of old, they used to have rosaries that were made like this. And the same thing would be to count off. So what is a Ranger Pace bead, in case you don't know? And how do you actually use it? Well, I'm going to give you a basic idea. Um, I would suggest, if you have a compass, definitely get Ranger Pace beads. And uh, search YouTube how to use Ranger Pace beads. And you'll find, you know, there are hundreds of videos out there teaching these things. But the gist of it is is I walk 65 steps. Well, let me give you a scenario. Let's say I'm at a tree and I'm sighting my compass, you know, across a pond. I find a tree on the other side and I said, that's the tree I want to be at. Okay, now I got to get over there. Well, I'm going to walk east to my right. And as I do that, I'm going to count 65 steps. Now, once I walk 65 steps, I pull one bead down. I walk another 65 steps, I pull another bead down. You know, if I walk all these beads, then the ones on the end here, I pull down. And basically, it's going to go as far as 5,000 meters. Now, and you start all over by pulling this side down, and then you start over. Now, I walked to the right, east, and let's say I've done this four times of 65 paces. Well, then I walk north a certain way, and then I'm going to walk the opposite way, which is west. And now I just count off my steps by pulling the beads down. And what's going to happen is I'm going to run into that tree that I was looking at on the other side of the pond. Now, if I put a piece of toilet paper or put some sticks on that tree, the first one, when I look across the, the, the pond, I should be able to see that toilet paper hanging from the tree. And now I know I'm at the right location. So now I just get on the other side of that tree, point my compass. I'm now walking in that straight line. And I've done that by making sure I had Ranger pace beads. So this ain't something you're going to use a lot unless you're navigating through some uh, pretty rough terrain. Like if you got to walk around a, a cliff, a mountain, a pond, a river. I mean, but if you're just walking through an open field, well, no, you're not going to need Ranger pace beads. But I have found my times, there's been at times I've needed them. And uh, they weigh practically nothing. I do like the skulls. And like I said, you can make your own. But um, if you want to support a, a U.S. veteran who's making them, it's super affordable. Shipped, I had them in like two days. I couldn't believe how fast he shipped them. It was like, boom, I had them. His feedback is perfect on eBay. eBay. I don't get any money whatsoever. This is not an affiliate link. I bought these with my own money. And... Um, I just think they're fantastic. If you've got a compass, make sure you've got some Ranger Pace beads and make sure you know how to use them. Tons of videos to show you how on YouTube. And um, you know, to me, without ha having a compass without a Ranger Pace bead is just, just a no-brainer. You, you definitely need that. And that's all there is to it. I normally car carry two compasses. And the reason for that is because is some, sometimes I think my compass is wacky and it's not working the way it should. I'll compare it with my second compass. And if they both come out with the same reading, I'll say, well, I guess my compass is right. 
If you get any metal toward a compass, it'll mess it up. Uh, a lot of people are using GPS systems nowadays. I don't like GPS systems. I don't like anything that's going to be directional with batteries. You know, I carry two compasses in two different locations on me. One simp simply for checking. Um, the other one I use, this is the main one I use a lot of. I also like the idea because it has a mirror. Because I can check myself for ticks in that. So that's another big plus. But it would take a lot for this to break. And if I did break it, like I said, I do carry a second one. Because getting back is very, very important. And I don't like being lost. I've seen people get lost and turned around by only walking 10 feet. It's just ridiculous. There is a second thing I carry with me. Now another thing I carry, I had to go dig this up, but it's a red shamog. And a lot of people will carry these two, five, two foot by two foot um, fluorescent things that kind of stand out in the wilderness. And um, they're expensive. They're like, I've seen them for $25, $30. I thought that was a lot of money. So instead, I just carry a, a red shamog that I'll double up and I'll hang out of a tree or hang it from a tree. Drop my pack, take my compass with me, take my water. Maybe I'm going down a mountain. I will take a compass reading and I'll go down to the water and get my water. And this one, I'm not carrying a whole pack. Now, all I got to do is look for that shamog, the red one, hanging from the tree, which gets me to my location. Now, if it's fall time, and depending where you're at, got a lot of red leaves, maybe this is not a good idea for you. Maybe you will need one of those fluorescent red or orange uh, two by two uh, items, but this has worked for me for quite some time. And because it's a shamog, you know, I can wipe my brow, I can use it to string water. I, I get a lot of, um, you know, a lot of different uses for it. If I am out when the hunters are out, I can just hang that off the back of my pack. But at any point, if you guys want, at any point, if you want or need a set of Ranger pace beads and you would like to help out a US veteran, that has great feedback. It's got multiple colors, like I said. I'll have the link below um, on eBay. And uh, you can go pick yourself up one or maybe a couple. And learn how to use them with your compass. They're amazing. At any rate, guys, catch you on the next one.